Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 2015 Basics for your truly in Zania. This one we are going to cover multi-mix. Um, there are three vehicles involved in this process, of which only two actually make mix. The very first one, the primer 3570, it just sprays hay out. Uh, we're not going to cover that one in this vehicle, or in this video, because I've yet to really find a use for it. Uh, if you do know a use for it, be sure and tell me. Leave a comment. Uh, the Profile 1880 is the pull behind a tractor type deal. Uh, you pull it with a tractor, you load it with a front end loader, all three steps are done with front end loader. The SPV Comfort 12 is a self propelled, you drive it, it's its own vehicle. You only have to put in the hay and the straw. You can then use the front end of it to load silage as needed. So let's get down to it. All right, here we have basically our this is the grass that has been rolled up into a round hay bale. I showed that in the baling technologies video, how to do that. Um, with this, the, the one that you have to pull with the tractor. Now both of these, these uh, mixers have different amounts of storage. The very first one you want to put in, overall you will put in uh, two grass bales, one hay bale, or one uh, straw bale, which is wheat or bar, you know, whatever picked up after you know a compi uh, combine so two grass one wheat or straw and then almost a full bucket of silage or silage rather sorry almost a full bucket of silage will go into this vehicle now here we're going to put in this our first uh, grass and then we're going to show I'll, I'll go in and show how it uh, affects the contents now the idea is to get the mix rate in the bars, in, in between the bars, which whenever I switch to the vehicle here in just a second, right there, you can see that now it's at 100% of hay, which is the grass, the, 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 the baled up grass. Um, you have to end up getting them bars, the blue line, in between the brackets for each part. So we're gonna go pick up a, uh, a straw bale now which is baled up wheat and uh, barley gives you straw and then we're going to put that in the in the thing in the mixer and now this is for the manual mixer please 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 remember this the mixing amounts are different for the self-propelled you will end up hurting yourself if you put too much of one or another into the other. You'll have to dump some out to put some more of another in. You don't want to have to do that. So, but in this one that you pull along behind a tractor, you have to put in, again, it's two green, one straw, and then almost a full bucket of silage. And it will fill this thing up and it will always be within the lines. So there's no guesstimation, no, you know, dumping a little, whatever. It, you'll, you'll always be good to go. So here we go, we're going to drop the straw down into it. And then we'll check again and you'll see what I'm talking about. And yeah, my driving skills still leave a lot to be desired. But there we go, it's in. Alright, and now if you look at it, we're at 50%, 50%, both hay and straw. So now what we have to do is we have to put enough silage in so that the silage gets into the anywhere between the 30 or 20 and 70 percent range and uh there I, I did that kind of i dumped it in off camera but you'll see now that one bucket of silage barely got the silage into the two brackets but the other two still stayed within the brackets and that's what we wanted um so now we're going to go back it up into the trailer or into the barn rather and we'll dump it now in this barn, you can put it on either side, it doesn't matter. It's just a storage deal. You just back it up enough, hit the button, and it's going to shoot out. Uh, even though it looks like I'm missing here, I'm close enough. If the unload pops up, you're okay. Um, I'm going to unload all of this, and this is, I don't even know how much it was. I didn't look down there at the bottom. But it's going to, I'm going to unload this entire trailer. Actually, I did part of it, and then I wanted to check. But, uh... There, I unloaded it all. Now we've got the big mixer. In this guy, I have already put in one green bale, one straw bale. That's it, one of each. 
do not do two greens and then one straw. If you do that, you will end up full. I screwed up, did that. You might notice it in some of the uh, settings up in the top left. Uh, I then had to edit the video because I had to go dump some of it out and then come back and then get some more. Uh, but the, con the, the correct ratio for this one is one green, one straw, and then just be real careful about putting the silage in until you get just enough silage to keep the other two within the, in the, in the limits. And uh, there you go. And you'll, you'll get just barely, the silage will just get just barely in there enough to where it, it stays all of it within the brackets. Um, now I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to show you how this one dumps. It dumps just like the other one, except see that black door there on the side? It actually pops down, a little little thing comes out, like a funnel type deal, and it shoots it into the uh, trough. Now you see I, where, I, where, I, where I messed up a little bit earlier and I dumped some of the regular mix over there in the right? Does not matter. I can unload on either side. It only keeps, a, it's just like your, your silo at home. You just, they're just dump off points. They show different because you put, the green was the first I put in over there. You can also dump there, I believe, but I've never tried it. But um, you just basically just dump and you're good to go. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna dump it off. This is really easy, easy technology. It's not very difficult at all. You just have to remember that the two of these are different. One holds, now I check, yep, okay. And I am there if you look. I am actually getting more of the uh, the mixed ration, 18, 9, 29. And uh, I'll go dump some more, and you'll see that it caps out, I think, it right at, you know, right at 19 or 20,000. So I'm going to unload, and basically I start getting the message, oh, too much, we can't take any more. Um, and you'll get that. And what that means is basically you, you just drive off and wait till your cows eat some of it. Now, I don't have any cows in this video because I just did the video on how to do the mix. Uh, you would basically have cows and your cows would be consuming this every day. And with this multi-mix, you will be making the 100% perfect milk, which is the best milk you can make. And uh, thanks to putting the silage, silage down here at the barn, all I have to do is use the round bale toter, which will carry up to eight bales. And I just grab some green and some, some straw and some, or some straw and some hay, drag them up here, dump them all on the ground, use the front end loader or the, the uh, telehandler and load them up into it. It's, it's pretty simple, not too difficult. And uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into another little quick three minute or so video on money making, how to make some extra money. Um, but here, we'll be right back for that. All right, and we are back. So, making extra money. If you come down to the freight yard, which is down here in the bottom right-hand side of the map, everything that you want to sell, you try and sell here. And the reason why is if the freight yard is playing, paying you close to whatever, it doesn't matter what they're paying, everything that you can sell. Now, I happen to be lucky and have a 1.5 on canola. So I filled up my trailer full of canola and come down here to show you. But everything you sell here, you can get double the value for whatever whatever they're paying for it. So like here they're paying 1.12 or whatever for, for per ton of canola. All right, well, if I dump my canola here and then I get out of the vehicle, which I will show you here in just a minute, I get out and then I go over there to that little eye. See the little eye over there on the other side of my truck by that little button? All right, what that button does is that button sends the train off. So, and it actually says send off the train or whatever it's called, it's something similar. So here I go, I'm unloading. As you can see up in the top right hand corner, I'm getting money. And uh, I just got whatever amount of money that this was valued at from the veil, from the sale at rather. From, so I just got 1.12K per one ton uh, of value. Now I've got $976,000 now. And this is the second save, uh, an earlier save before I made, you know, $14 million. But, um, okay, there, I've unloaded the trailer. Okay, now what i got to do is you got to get out of the truck, which I should do here. Yeah, there we go. All right, you get out of the truck, and you come around over here to this little button. And then when you click this button, watch my money up there. Now, it takes a minute because you got to watch the train actually go away. 
So uh, there it goes. Look at the top thing. It says hit the button. All right, there I hit the button. There goes the train. It's all fancy. The train drives away. Train goes all the way down and goes through the tunnel. And then after a short period of time, drum roll, please. Whatever. We're going to sit here and watch. Goodbye, train. See you later. Look up in the top right-hand corner, though. 976,495. So we just wait. We just wait. As soon as the train's officially gone, which should happen any second now, come on. Do it. Do it. You can do it. Don't be scared. There it goes. Boom. I just got double the money for that load of canola. This works with everything you sell here. Everything you sell here. So if you come down here with wheat and you sell it here, uh, as you saw, wheat sells a little bit cheaper here than anywhere else. But guess what? If you double the price of wheat, why would you take it anywhere else? Because if it sells here for 400 but it sells somewhere else for 700 and that's the best price you can get somewhere else. Basically, if anywhere else isn't paying you double what you can get here, you need to bring it here. It doesn't matter. And uh, that works for everything that you can basically carry and sell. All right. I <coughs> hope that was uh, informative. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, have a great day.